study public health through our greatest companion, the dog. Um, I actually practice something called One Health and I use translational medicine or translational research to study the health impacts in dog populations and then translate that to human populations. One of the things that I do here is I work with the Dog Aging Project. The Dog Aging Project is a National Institute of Health funded study um, looking at dog populations that we then translate information back into our human populations. We have over 45,000 dogs currently enrolled and we collect information on those dogs every year. I signed up for the Dog Aging Project after Dr. Ruppel explained to us about it in class and I just really wanted to track Ida's aging process throughout her life. Um, one of the things that we're interested in is how healthy aging occurs and we can look at that in their dog population so we can better understand how it happens in humans. Dogs get something called canine cognitive disorder, which is similar to Alzheimer's disease in human populations. So one of the tasks that we ask our participants to do is something called the one, two, three treat project. You set three boxes out and um, you put a treat in one box and you either leave it or let her have it. And then you go through all three boxes and you go back to a starting location and at that starting location she should go back to the box that you left the tree in. It's something that we have them do every year so we can really monitor how well they do as their body and their brains age. 